Hello everyone and welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. Today we are going to learn about WebDriver's methods and its locators. As prerequisite to start the coding, we must install Java and Eclipse uh, followed by downloading all the required web drivers, which I have already explained in the third video. You can refer it for the installation and setup purpose. So without wasting time, we will start the coding now. Once you open the Eclipse, first step is to create the Java project. File New Java Project if this option is not available file new project inside the project you can see the java project click on next the project name is selenium training click on next then finish the selenium training project is created next step is to create the package followed by the class we can directly create the class locate as example package name is selenium demo select the main method then finish we created a package selenium demo and the class name is locate as example the next step is to import all the web drivers we have already have all the java jar files now we should have the web drivers then only you can use all the web driver methods and its locators for that right click build path configure build path in that add all external jar files we have the web driver for chrome mozilla ie and, and the selenium server standalone file select all open apply and close you can see the library files now is to launch the chrome browser for that we have to set the property for the chrome driver and specify its location the syntax for that is system dot set property the key value is web driver dot chrome dot driver and here we have to give the web driver path double slash single slash it will not accept chrome driver dot exe semicolon the next step now is to create the chrome web driver in the web driver interface web driver interface now the object name can be any but it should be a meaningful name driver equal to new chrome driver semicolon but you can see the warning symbol here just move the mouse point it is saying change the web driver so we have to import all the web driver library files similarly for chrome driver import chrome driver. we imported all the library files now the next step is to launch the application for the driver dot get within this we have to give the url the URL I'm going to use is a Mercury demo register screen. Once this is done, driver dot manage. I'm going to maximize my window. Windows dot maximize. Now we'll run and see how our program works. Run the console started. The page loaded and it is maximized. Let me summarize. We have created a Java project, then package followed by the class. After that is completed, we have linked all the required web driver files. And third step is to set the property for the Chrome web driver. And finally, we have to create the Chrome web driver in the web driver interface. After that, we have launched the application and maximized it. Now we will start the locators. The syntax in order to identify web element is mentioned here. It is find element in the bracket by dot locator method. Find element is the method used to locate element on the web page. And by is a mechanism used to locate elements within a document with the help of locator value. And locator value is an address that identifies a web element uniquely within the web page. ID, name, 
link text, partial link text, xpath, css selector, tag name and class name. We will see one by one with an example. The first locator is example of name locator. In the screen we are going to enter the value first name and last name. How to inspect this? Either we have to go to the developer tool if not right click and inspect. After you inspect for the name locator the value is first name. Paste it in a notepad and the next value for the name locator the value is last name. How to code for this driver dot find elements then by mechanism dot we have eight locators in this choose the name inside this we have to give the value first name first name within the code dot send keys which is used to enter the value within the code give the value it is vinod same way driver dot find elements by dot name last name value give within the code dot send keys thinam close the code save it and whenever you launch the chrome browser you will get this log starting the chrome driver and local collections are allowed either you can run like this if not press ctrl f11 the application is launched it is navigated to mercury tour screen register page and then it entered both first name and last name using the name locator the second example is id locator in the same screen, I want to enter the email and a username. Just right click and inspect. You can see the name locator and also ID locator. For the ID locator, the value is username. Even though the web element is email ID, but the value here is username. I think developer gave a wrong value while developing this website. Same way for username. For username, the ID value is email. I will go to the screen. Driver dot find element by dot ID. Within this, we have to give the ID value. Dot send keys. Close the code driver dot find element by dot id email dot send keys the username is anand semicolon now we will run and see what will happen control f11 i am using shortcut to run application is launched maximized the first name entered, last name entered and my email id entered and the username is Anand. Hope you got an idea how to use name locator, now how to use id locator. That's the end of today's session. In next video, we will continue rest of the locators with example. Please subscribe to get the notification mail for all my uploads. Kindly comment your queries in case of any clarifications. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.